Well, good morning. Out here for day three, up on Keebler Pass again. Uh, last night we camped right down. You might be able to see there's a car with some headlights. Camped down right at the base of those trees. Uh, actually went to bed pretty early because, well, one, we were tired, but two, it started raining and lightning and thundering. So, uh, got an early night of sleep and woke up to this beautiful fresh coat of snow up here on the mountain. Uh, there was a little snow up there last night, but not anything like this. So that is a great bonus. Uh, there's a few clouds around, not a ton, but probably enough that they should light up pretty well once the sun gets up here, you know, in about another half hour or so. Oh, actually in about 10 minutes. So, uh, I think, uh, I think it's going to be a good morning. We'll wait and see what happens. All right, we're about 10 minutes after sunrise now. And as you can see, there is no light going on out here. So there must be a cloud up over the hill that is blocking it. So kind of wait and see what happens. Uh, no hurry to get out of here this morning. When this cloud does break, I mean, because the sky is mostly open, and eventually there's going to be some light. So when the light gets through the breaks in the clouds, hopefully we'll get some nice spotlighting on that hill or something to add some interest. Uh, pretty much every cloud that was anywhere near the mountain has moved away. So it's just going to be a... A blue sky kind of shot which not always the most interesting but still gonna stay here and see what happens well as you can see the sun finally broke through the clouds and it aspen are really lit up nice over there there's some light up on the mountain so time to get taking some pictures i've kind of wandered along this ridge here trying to find the best composition trying to avoid some vehicles down there in the in the meadow but uh overall really cool scene nice spotlight going on right now so we'll see uh see what i get so last night, we're thinking about shooting from down there. There's a bunch of marsh areas with some open water. Uh, really look neat. I'm kind of half tempted now since I did get some good photos here to hike down there and see what I can get. So maybe crack off a few more here, but I definitely would like to go check that out. All right, well, I'm done over here where we started out the morning. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna head down to that road and uh, across the road, there's a uh, stream running through there with a lot of uh, probably beaver dams, a lot of uh, marshy areas with some standing water. So I'm gonna go down there and look for some reflections. Uh, I do have a tip for you. If you're in the outdoors and you need to get across the stream and there's no bridge because you're out in the middle of nowhere, uh, look for a beaver dam. There's the beaver den. Here's the beaver dam. And to get across this stream here, we're just gonna go right, right across the beaver dam. So, uh, you might think, you know, just a, a dam of sticks and dirt is not safe. There's no look at their giant beaver den. They're probably in there sleeping or hiding from me. But this thing is solid. It's like walking on concrete. Uh, this is the big part, and then you get over here. And this is where during uh, rain that the actual water will go through this. You can hear it down there. So the water's trickling out of the little pond they have built here. So I'm going to continue walking across this. Like I said, this is really sturdy. The beavers know what they're doing. So and we get across and now we don't have to walk in the water. So fun little thing to find. Uh, find these beaver dams all over. I've actually stood on the, the stick part down there. Uh, here in Colorado to take a picture. It was like the best view was from the top of the beaver dam. So fun little thing. All right, off to the off to the lower water now. See what I get down there. Well, I found this spot here I really like. There's water in the foreground, a lot of color in the middle, and then the aspens and everything. So let's see what happens with the light. Right now it's really dull, but maybe we'll get some nice spotlighting here in a few minutes as the sun and clouds move. The spotlighting came and went over the next half hour or so, and I played with different compositions along the water but never really found one that jumped out at me. After a while, it was time to pack up and head south towards the San Juan Mountains.
We made our way onto the Forest Service land and found our camp spot for the night. We started to get things set up before we headed out to find our sunset locations. All right, quick update. Made it down here to Ridgeway, Colorado. Uh, getting ready to photograph Mount Snuffles. Uh, there's a boatload of people here. I mean, there's probably 25 cars behind me and... Uh, most of them are packed full of people. I think there's a couple uh, tour groups here. So I don't know how much talking I'll be doing tonight while I'm taking the photos, but uh, I'll definitely take some video and kind of voice it over when I'm done. Uh, this is a really awesome spot, but it's just so narrow and it's so popular and uh, it just, everyone just crams into one little area. So uh, not my most ideal place to take photos, but it's so awesome. It's hard to pass up. So we'll see what happens. All right, about 15 minutes until sunset. As you can see, nothing's going on. And just about everyone up here is left. There's one car to the west, and one car, two cars to the east. Uh, the people to the east are just playing around with a drone, I believe. I don't even know if they're really taking pictures or just testing something out, but uh, still got a chance. I mean, there's still quite a few openings. The sun's still coming through there. So I'm gonna hang out here till at least five or 10 minutes after sunset. I know a lot of the people that were here on the road wanna get back down to town before it gets dark, but we're just camped up here at the end of the valley tonight. So, you know, I have no hurry to get out of here. And so I'm just gonna see what it, what it does. I've been up here before and seen some pretty crazy things happen with the light at the last minute right before sunset. So I'm still hopeful that something like that will happen tonight. I don't know if you can still see me, but that's going to do it for tonight. Never got any good light, but you know what? It, that's part of photography. You just come out here and you enjoy the scene. And if you get something great, you get something great. And if not, come back and try again tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do. Go back to camp, get some rest, and come right back up here tomorrow morning and try again. We'll see you again next time.